Hello and welcome to a special episode of Laptop Retrospective. Today we are going to be examining, finally, uh, the eGPU solution using the Express Card slot, and we will be using the X220 today. The reason that we're using the X220 is for a variety of different reasons. First off, and to be honest, it's the only Express Card laptop that I currently have in the house. The second is it's one of the lowest models that'll really support this kind of mod. We are using that as kind of a minimum benchmark. The GPUs that we'll be using with this will vastly outperform the CPU that's inside of it, and it will give you a pretty good idea of what kind of the lowest expectations that we can possibly have for one of these setups. So I did go online and order the parts and they have arrived. They come in this little envelope here, or at least mine did. And it says uh, that it is going to unleash your power, create infinite possibilities. It's the EXP uh, GDC Beast. And we'll go through what comes inside. They do come in a variety of different flavors, as you can see down here. So you wanna make sure that you're ordering the right part for your setup. Inside the envelope, we did have the connector to get essentially the power supply hooked up to the eGPU itself. We have the express card uh, cable here, and it does come with an HDMI end, but for the love of all that is good in ThinkPad, do not plug that into an HDMI port that's not on the express card GPU unit. Uh, we have the eGPU itself and it's pretty straightforward. That's where your card goes. And then on the front, we have the HDMI port for the Express card. We do have a standard USB port that supplies power only, because why not? This is a DC in for an adapter, if you happen to have a correct one that'll work with this unit. And then your power goes into here, and we're not gonna worry about uh, that plug there. So that's pretty much what you get there. On the inside, uh, just right here, you can read the revision number. This is 8.5C, and uh, that's just good to know that you're getting the latest one. I have no idea if that's the latest one, but if it's less than 8.5C, uh, 0.5, it's probably not new inventory. Lastly, you do get uh, an instruction booklet. Now, the instruction booklet does come in two languages. The first is, of course, some version of Chinese which is not terribly helpful unless you're looking at the pictures, but then they give check marks and signs that says, don't do that, uh, would have been nice. If you flip to the back though, there is a, seems to be a condensed version of the English installation guide that'll walk you through what I will be walking you through. But as you can clearly see, it is nowhere near as robust and is actually missing some of the pictures that the uh, version at the beginning of the booklet has. So be aware. That being said, there's tons of information online about how to do this setup. This is only one of many possible solutions. Here is what we are going to do. I have a, I believe a TR2 600 watt power supply that I'll be using uh, from a computer case just off screen here. We're going to go ahead and hook everything up. The first tests that we're going to do are actually under Linux because, you know, Linux and running multiple GPUs can be fun. And then if that works or if we have any success, we'll go ahead and try it over on Windows 10. The next step that I will do off camera is disconnect the power supply from this computer and start uh, plugging things in. First things first, let's go ahead and hook up our power supply. We're going to go ahead and grab the adapter that came with the kit. And we are going to take our main power supply for the motherboard here and plug it in like so. You wanna make sure that these actually line up and this is the one that's correct. So you wanna make sure that it, you're not just using uh, whatever or you might run into trouble later. We'll go ahead and plug this main power into the unit here. Now that we've got that plugged in. Let's go ahead and grab our GPU for this test. So the GPU we're using is this Asus uh, 770. So we're gonna go ahead and drop that card on like that. We're going to go ahead and plug in our express card cable here. And then of course we will need uh, the power supply for the GPU plugged in as well. Now that we have all of the 
power connected here and here. The other thing that's left to do, of course, is to connect our display and, well, see what happens. Okay, with everything plugged in, what I'm going to do is I'm going to power off the computer. I will install the Express GPU card in the uh, Express card slot. And we're going to make one configuration change to the BIOS to make sure that the Express card is running in Generation 1 mode. That way we ensure as much stability as possible. So we want to head under Config. We want to go to Power. And then if we go down to Express Card Speed, we set it from Automatic to Generation 1. Now with the computer shut off, we're going to go ahead and turn on the power supply, which has been turned off up until this point. The GPU and the external graphics adapter dock are receiving power. And we'll go ahead and turn the computer on. We see our card is spinning up. And, lo and behold, it's detecting the second display with no configuration required. So, this is an excellent, excellent start and it's acting as a second display, as you would expect it to. Now, let's see what's going on with our hardware here. It has detected the graphics card successfully. The 770 is showing up in the system, which is excellent. <laughs> um, that worked with surprisingly little effort. So, we want to make sure, though, that the right GPU is going to be handling the uh, tasks that we're giving it. And then, of course, the other thing that we need to check is uh, drivers. We want to make sure that we have the right uh, drivers for this system. Okay, and here we are. It's currently using the X server uh, drivers, but we are going to switch over to NVIDIA with the hopes of getting a better, um, better performance out of the card. Okay, so the drivers have been installed. And we do need to restart the computer quickly to ensure that the changes have uh, occurred. So we're going to do that. And then we are going to see if we need to do anything else before we dive right into testing. So it would appear installing the uh, proprietary NVIDIA drivers has taken away the second screen functionality. I'm not too sure what's up with that. Uh, but we're going to see if it does uh, impact what games we're able to play on it. It is still detecting the two graphics cards in here, which means that we'll probably need to do some GPU switching. And I have found a script that should allow us to do that pretty flawlessly. So this script was well documented on the eGPU.io forms, and I've actually gone ahead and already installed this, so we are going to use this command here to see if it's detecting properly. So we'll open up our terminal window, We'll paste in the command, and it has found two GPUs. It has found the internal one, and it's also found the NVIDIA GTX 770, and we can choose the preferred internal GPU. Internal is one, external is two. So at this point, it'll automatically detect on startup whether or not the eGPU is connected and decides what configuration it runs based on what it detects. So we are going to restart the computer one final time now that this has been set up, and we will see what happens. Okay, let's go ahead and try running a couple of games. Pretty sure TressFX is not supported on this. But let's max out everything else and see what happens.
Okay, let's start the benchmark. Yeah, I somehow doubt that this is running on the uh, internal HD graphics anymore. Alright, so about 30 frames per second. For the 770, that's not terrible running out at max. So under the NVIDIA X server settings, you can actually easily switch back and forth between the NVIDIA GPU, known as performance mode, and the Intel GPU, known as power saving mode. Lots of uh, information in here as well. Okay, so now we are running it in kind of what I'll call regular mode, and no dedicated GPU is detected, although it is happily spinning due to being provided information from the express card. If we go over here, we can go ahead and select the NVIDIA mode. We will enter our password, and it will tell us to log back out and in. So this is kind of the inconvenient part, but what can you do? So we will log out. and we will log back in. And now we are running that GPU. So currently we have the display set to mirror. Let's go ahead and log in. So in this instance we can tell it to run on the secondary display. So let's go ahead and do that. So everything is still set to high, but now we're running it at a much higher resolution. Again, at this point, the CPU really is probably acting as the bottleneck. Yeah, about what we would expect. A little lower because we are running it at 1080p though. Alright ladies and gentlemen, I am going to close off this video for today. So we've gone through the installation, the setup under Linux, we've done a benchmark on both the display and an external display to show the differences, and it is viable. I do have a couple of other GPUs that I can try, so if you are at remotely interested, please let me know in the comments down below. 
Same thing if you want to see this running on Windows, I can go ahead and throw the drive in there and we can uh, go ahead and do that. So this will close the first episode of the eGPU dock. Thank you very much for watching and a special shout out to a couple of people that uh, encouraged that this video be made. I know that many of you asked uh, for it like right there and there and there and there. Uh, but a special thank you for Tech Dave that provided any technical support that this video uh, series required because he has gone ahead and done it uh, before me and did a really good job. And uh, yeah, so thank you very much. If you uh, haven't already, the big four here at the bottom, please like the video, share it, subscribe, and hit that notification bell so you get updates when more videos about this unit is released. Thank you very much, and I'll see you next time.